I am Dr Nikki Turner, I'm an academic general practitioner, I'm director of the Immunisation Advisory Centre which is based at the University of Auckland. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about COVID vaccines and particularly pertinent to New Zealand. Yeah, so a vaccine is a product that you give to an individual and they recognise it as if it's a pathogen, as if it's a virus or a bacteria, and their immune system responds, and the immune system response creates a memory, so that when the real disease comes along, you already have memory and you can respond really fast. So you either don't get the disease or you might get it really mildly. So that's the purpose of a vaccine overall. Yeah, so what we know of the virus is that on the outer surface of the virus, there's a protein called the spike protein. All the current COVID vaccines are being directed against the spike protein. That is what a body recognises as the virus and creates an immune response. Yes, well, the vaccine development process is the same as previous development, and it requires to go through all the proper steps and none of those steps have been shortened. In particular, the most important process in developing a vaccine is the large clinical phase three trials where they compare tens of thousands of people given a vaccine to the equivalent number given a placebo, either another vaccine or saline. You require big numbers to ensure that for that amount of people, there's no major safety signals. Now obviously that can't answer the question for if there's a very rare safety signal, like one in a million. And for those safety signals, that requires once the vaccine is in the community, you continue to monitor closely and check that there's no new signal that wasn't put up in the clinical trials. This has happened in previous vaccines and the same process is taking place for these vaccines. So we know so far from the clinical trials that the side effects are what we have seen in other vaccines. You can get sore arms, you get redness on the arms, you can get headaches, fever, sore muscles, you can get allergic reactions. To date, those are the reactions that we're seeing coming through on the clinical trials. Safety will continue to be monitored. We're waiting for the final clinical trials. We will all be watching closely around the world and New Zealand as these clinical trials proceed. The New Zealand government has been very clear that within the New Zealand context, no, COVID vaccine will not be mandatory. These vaccines are not being developed quickly, but a lot of the traditional roadblocks have been removed and the steps in vaccine development, many of these are actually going in parallel rather than in sequence. And for example, the roadblocks are often you have to do all the studies before you go to the regulatory authorities. The regulatory authorities now are looking at the data as it comes off from each of the studies. And the next big roadblock removed is that the manufacturing plants that are big and really expensive are being developed and ready even prior to the vaccines being licensed. That's a big financial risk if the vaccine doesn't work, but the huge advantage is you can hit the ground running with manufacturing large amounts once the vaccines are actually approved. I think the big difference this time around is enormous international attention, scientists are working together, large amounts of funding and resources, and, and groups working together in a way they never have before. Yes, yeah, so people are hesitant about the vaccine for all sorts of reasons. And the first issue is what is their concern and what is their question? Often the question's appropriately around safety. So people understanding how we actually develop these vaccines, the importance of the large clinical trials, the importance of comparing vaccinated to non-vaccinated, so we really do understand the safety profile. And then after that, people may have questions about what's in a vaccine, um, what's it going to do to me as an individual? Will I act differently from somebody else? Those are the sort of questions that we answer one by one with each individual.